Hey, are you hanging so far? You okay? Interested? Well, we've got more to come. Torif, David, please, round of applause. So, in Operation Sukitan, a colleague of mine found himself in a difficult situation. During a heated firefight, his weapon malfunctioned. With great risk to his life, he decided to fix his weapon and return fire, only to discover his weapon had malfunctioned again. Could you imagine? At that moment, when he needed his weapon the most, he failed. Thankfully, this incident ended well. My colleague single-handedly eliminated the threat for his actions that day, he received a Medal of Commendation. But this incident, well, it got me thinking. What if? The common technological level of firearms has a significant impact on the outcome of any firefight. Any handling of the weapon, as quick as may be, occupies the user's attention and endangers him. This is unacceptable, and why we are developing TORIF. TORIF is a smart sensor system that turns firearms into smart machines. Strategically located sensors, combined with machine learning algorithms, are able to report in real time anything that happens in the weapon. Shots fired, misfired, warning of failures, and others. By giving our soldiers access to such information, we are allowing them to manage combat quicker, smarter, and safer, increasing their chances of survival. But don't take our word for it. We have discussed the lift with the entire chain of command, from foot soldiers to generals. And the feedback? Well, it's very good. We have even discovered TOREF solves issues in training, maintenance, and high-rank decision-making. Meaning, TOREF does not only impact the soldier on the battlefield, it impacts the entire organization. And thus, Israelis, were not the only ones to say so. We know for a fact that Western militaries, police forces, and professional shooting contestants are in need for such a technology. This is probably why some of the biggest companies in this domain have offered to collaborate with us. Such partnerships will allow us to sell OEMs and standalone products. Basically, we will be able to maximize this $14 billion market. But our real secret sauce, it's not the market need and it's not the technology. It's actually the team. Yuda has been, is an outstanding algorithm engineer. David has been managing R&D for almost a decade. Oz has managed to integrate unique solutions into Israeli special forces. And me, well, I'm just a user. But together, we've managed to successfully prove our concept, and we are now developing our prototype. Obviously, there is a long way ahead of us. But we have the right team, we have the right solution, and we are at the right time. And then not too long, we will take part in this future soldier vision. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, David. Torres. Judges. Please. Yeah. Are any of the guns today being manufactured with a smart system installed already? No, absolutely not. Not that we know of. Not that you know. No. There's, I'll just uh, I'll give uh, an answer why. There's, uh, it may sound simple, what? So we'll just put some sensors on, uh, on a weapon and then we'll just be able to analyze what's happening in the weapon. It's not simple at all. Because you need a uh, you need to differentiate between things that are happening inside the weapons mechanism and things that are happening on the outside. And that's, that's what we're doing is unique in that way. We found a way to differentiate between these things. Does that make any sense? Feedback is in real time. Exactly, yeah. And to, to a war room if needed. Yeah. Hi, can you add a few words about the sensors? Is it the camera or any other sensor? No, we're not, uh, we're not talking about cameras, we're talking uh, mainly about acceleration sensors, and uh, I'd rather not go too much into that in this okay. forum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that.